Hi, this is David Bitton with CityNightMagazine.com, and we're here at Fan Expo 2015 with uh, the lovely, multi-talented Brandy Cyrus. Hi. Hi, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. And so you're here. Uh, you are a uh, you were in a band. You were on TV. You are a clothing designer, and now you're in your first feature. So yeah. tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, honestly, it's my favorite thing I've ever gotten to be a part of. Um, I was working with friends. I've known Paul Travers, who's the writer, for a long time, um, and and became friends with so many of the cast members. Kane Hodder is just the nicest guy. Uh, and it was really an incredible experience. Like I couldn't have asked for a better first film to be a part of. So it's called uh, Old 37. So tell us what is Old 37? What's it about? Old 37 is about this, it's an old ambulance, number th like an, a number 37 ambulance, and these two brothers who hijack this ambulance, and they actually hijack their victims as well. They intercept 911 calls, and they go, and you think you're being helped, you know, like, I'm hurt, help me, ah, and then these guys come, they take you, and they um, torture you. So it's 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 pretty brutal. That's actually pretty horrifying. That's yeah. it's horrifying because it's like something that could really happen, sort of. I'm just kind of surprised it hasn't yet. I know. Well, I know. Like, and if it starts happening, Paul's gonna be responsible because this was his idea. I guess that's the danger of making a horror movie or like a heist movie is you always get somebody who gets the idea in their head, but hopefully not. Yeah. <laughs> so have you ever been to Canada before? I have. I love Toronto. My dad actually lived here for like four or five years when he shot a TV show here. Oh, cool. Uh, so I grew, I grew up coming here a lot, and then my band played here a couple of years ago. This is pretty crazy. There's like 120,000 people here today. I know. It's so. This has been the most crowded day that I've been here for sure. It took me like 20 minutes just to weave myself back here. But it's pretty cool. I'm like a secret nerd. Like you wouldn't know by looking at me probably, but I love like Marvel and all the, all the Avengers and... Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm like so into that TV show right now and even like Star Wars, X-Men, like I just love it all. Cool. So, yeah. so, so you're in heaven right now. Yeah, I am actually. <laughs> I'm like Snapchatting everything. <laughs> so so what are you planning? So uh, Old 37 is coming out uh, October 6th, I That's believe. Right. Yeah. October 6th, yep. On DVD, VOD, what's happening? Yes, both. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get it at Amazon. You can pre-order on Amazon right now, um, Walmart, stuff like that. So. Cool. And uh, what? Canadians have Walmart? I don't even know. Canadians do have Walmart, yeah. Yes, that's a good thing. <laughs> um, and, and so, uh, where, uh, what's up? What's up for you next? What's going on? Next, um, next month is a big like fashion month for me. I'm gonna do Fashion Week in New York City. Um, I run a flat fashion blog, so I kind of do stuff like that as well. Um, some red carpet coverage. Award show season will kick back up in the winter. So, any other roles in the future? Um, there's some things in the works, some more indie stuff, which I, I like doing that a lot because typically I get to work with people I know already um, and you get a lot more creative control mm -hmm. when you do indie stuff. So some stuff in the works for sure. I, I absolutely want to do more of it. Very cool. Well, thanks so much, Brandy. I really appreciate it. Thanks. All right. More to come.